All right, what's going on everyone? Today we're gonna kind of cover the last couple of changes that they just put out for the game after the desert nerf and then uh, another change that they posted on Twitter about the Lat V and the Brawler along with some silent buffs that I've noticed that I'm not too thrilled about. And then kind of covering what's going on with Hourglass, which still no one's heard about. And then uh, it's been requested to kind of walk through how I kind of play the game you know kind of a tips and tricks tidbit here for anyone who's either new to playing battlefield or just kind of wants to have a better thought process when getting into the game and trying to improve your gameplay so kind of covering what just happened recently okay so we all know dozer got nerfed right which is fantastic uh, i didn't think that the nerf was going to be uh, big enough but that 16 percent nerf from 2.15 to 1.86 actually does a pretty significant change to where I'm actually able to kind of counter Dozer abusing movement more often than not, uh, unless I run into him in the doorway or sitting on his zipline, whatever. But for, for the most case, now I'm able to successfully kind of get around that. So I think it's in a good spot. I still think for most players, you it should probably get nerfed slightly more. Not anything crazy. I wouldn't go past 25% total nerf. So an additional 7% or so would probably be a good spot. But anyways, until I see some more gameplay against dozer i can get a more accurate kind of deal here uh as for what's happening to the latvies the devs posted on twitter yesterday that they finally removed the flak cannon on it because it was quote unquote not being used correctly and the gameplay that was associated with the 20 mil on the jeep was not what they intended which again is sitting in the back of the map spamming a 20 mil cannon which by the way it does five damage to infantry it's not a big deal but the time to kill on infantry it's not quick but it's annoying and it's loud and it kind of does like the smoke screen effect in front of you so you're not really able to see what's happening around you which makes sense to flak the cannon but it's annoying and it shouldn't be on a transport because transports need to be transports okay so they disabled it they're looking into readjusting it cool they should just remove it completely it should has no business being on a jeep whatsoever but anyways we'll see what happens with that and then there was some other thing about the brawler having an issue in one of the other game modes i'm not really sure what it is but uh outside of that i haven't heard anything so again transports need to be transports that's a whole another tidbit specifically with the gunship which i'll do another video on later but coming back to hourglass we're on week seven of season five. We're already past the halfway mark for the season and haven't gotten anything besides a mediocre season event, which has a good game mode. Maps are trash. They only added one new map to the rotation. So there's only four maps total in this game mode. And the rewards, the free rewards are not that great, if I'm being honest. Okay, the cooler skins are behind a paywall. Dice is trying to recoup their money. So I don't blame them. But again, it's not great. It's lackluster. It's missing content. There's just not, again, this whole theme since day one, nonstop. Lack of content, lack of variety, meta shifts for no reasons, da 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 this and that. And people will come to me and say, oh, you're just a, you're just a streamer complaining about this and that. You want everything nerfed. <laughs> Man, dude, I just want fair gameplay and things that make sense. And they don't make sense and things aren't fair. And that's fine that some things stand above other weapons to form a meta. That's what a meta is for. But when things are extremely meta right now, like LMGs, and nothing has been talked about, only rumored that they're going to get changed, that's a problem. The other issue that I've got going on right now is there has been no word whatsoever about Hourglass. Still, past halfway for season. We're, in, we're about to go into season, or sorry, week eight. So, I mean, this, this rework better be mind-blowing, and I really doubt it. I still don't see how they can fix Hourglass to not just be deleted from the game files. Okay, uh, personally for infantry, that is one of the worst maps to play. I really don't see what they're going to change to make this viable or fun other than the fact that that quick little sneak peek tidbit we got in the beginning of the season was this underground passage underneath the, the bridge and so maybe you can get some CQC action in there but outside of that I, I don't know. 
I, I just don't see how they can ever fix this and salvage it for infantry players. But anyways, that's just my opinion on it. Uh, you know, if the guys who like playing vehicles, the map is okay. It's really open. You've got the dunes for arcing and some cover. For, but you know, what, you know, whatever. Okay, I'm not a, I'm not a vehicle main. I, I use them occasionally, but at the end of the day, I want to play infantry only. But we're not going to get infantry only servers anytime soon, if at all, in this title. I don't think. Also, the infantry only breakthrough playlist does not play well. Again, because of map design. So. Trying to get infantry only to make work in this game. I just don't see it happening. However, this hourglass thing is just still in the dark. Haven't heard anything. I, I'm still waiting. Like, I've got guys that I'm talking to. I'm trying to get any sort of information. It's just nada. So, you guys are just as lost as I am. So, I apologize on that. There's still nothing out for that. Now, last thing I want to cover for, for you guys is it's been asked a few times on stream and then most recently in the video about, hey, you know, I'm new to the game. What what are some things that I could do to get better? Okay, so the biggest thing you can do for yourself right now is learn the maps, whether you play Conquest or Infantry, or sorry, Breakthrough, learn how they flow. Okay, and I'm just gonna tell you right now, Conquest doesn't really have a flow. Some maps do, and if you're infantry only, you'll start to pick up on some maps where you'll only wanna play on specific sectors. Like, for example, on Kaleidoscope, you mainly wanna play around the dome or inside of the city. So that way you're not getting totally vehicle destroyed out in the open, okay? Uh, so those kind of things is what I'm thinking about when I play Conquest. For Breakthrough, it's more linear. It's back and forth. It's one line mostly, right? There's some maps that have this kind of like pool pooling where you can sit on the edges of the maps and you can shoot down into the middle. So that bowl effect thing. There's a few that have that issue, but outside of that, for the most part, it's linear, you know, back and forth. So Man, that biggest thing that, that I've learned playing breakthrough oh. i mainly play the, breakthrough the guy in that corner. when i play breakthrough I, my first thought was all right so how do the spawns work where do they spawn are there multiple different spawn points or no right so that's what i'm figuring out for each sector okay you want to figure out as many head glitches as you can to where you have the advantage in a gunfight and have line of sight to either their spawn or where a high traffic area is where they're coming from their spawn or so on and so forth right so you want to find those high traffic spots with good cover and being able to have clear line of sight and that'll give you more of an advantage than having just good aim okay i will tell you 10 out of 10 times in any shooter positioning will trump good aim all the time you could have mediocre aim but better positioning the guy and you will most likely win the fight because he has less of a target to shoot than you do so Figure out the maps first, learn rotations, learn where to sit, and then you can start practicing your aim. You should be doing that along the way, but your biggest focus in any shooter is to learn the maps and get good with positioning. After that, with the weapons, there's not a whole lot of recoil in this game. It's a little different for controller, and then mouse and keyboard input is still wonky, so... Do with what you can because both don't work properly and they have changed aim assist on controller almost half a dozen times now and i still get complaints from you guys and max the, on youtube max is on youtube i talk to him all the time sometimes the changes are unplayable he is straight out said it is unplayable for him on the controller at times so hopefully they get it right i'm more concerned about you guys than me personally from mouse and keyboard because i can adapt and adjust and i can still see the issues when i try to make micro adjustments but it's easier to manage than a analog input not working correctly. I, yeah, I'm not biased between the two. I played on controller for many years and I, I've only been on mouse keyboard for a couple of years at this point. So I understand your frustrations between the two. And honestly, if I had my choice, I'd just play input versus input. Same inputs versus same inputs. Doesn't matter if you're on console or PC. If you are on mouse and keyboard, you should only play against other mouse and keyboard players. If you're on controller on PC, you should only play against controllers on other pcs or other consoles now that also comes down to the argument well pc has better performance but okay so buy a pc well i can't afford it i understand um so those are the disadvantages you're just gonna have so like there's no real win-win here for this argument but at the end of the day coming back to the positioning and gunfights learn the weapon recoils and then start figuring out what the meta weapons are and i've got a list for that on in my stream chat and i've got some videos for my setups for the weapons and i will go ahead and start making a quote unquote meta build for each category here pretty soon but 
Again, it's not that cosmic. Every weapon only has a specific build that kind of makes sense for each other. So it's not going to be that intuitive. But I'll pump it out for you guys. I don't mind. So keep around for stick around for that. But the last thing for this game is audio cues, right? So positioning, aiming, audio cues, and weapon manipulation. Audio is huge. It's always huge in any shooter, right? You can hear footsteps. You can hear someone reviving. You can hear people trying to self-heal themselves with the med pen or hear them shoot the serret pistol, this and that, right? Those all, all those audio cues are a thing in this game. And you should be starting to listen to for what they sound like, get familiar with them. That way, when you're getting into a fight, you can hear somebody reviving. If you see smoke and you start hearing that noise, they're probably reviving them in the smoke. So that, that's your cue to push because then you have the advantage because they're not having their weapons out, etc. You know what I mean? So those kind of things are going to what are going to help you get better at specifically Battlefield, but really in any shooter. All of these things, if you practice these mechanics, will help you improve as you play other games. Because let's be real, Battlefield's not going to last forever. This game is, I'm sorry, not good still. I mean, for $15, yeah, you give it a try. Okay, it's, but still, I mean, even the new players are starting to see that this game has a lot of issues, even after almost two years since launch. We're going to come up on two years in about three and a half months or so, so... That's all I have for you guys. Let me know what else you guys want to see or any questions you got for me. Please leave it in the comments below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until next one, guys. See ya.